Hi, this is Erica Drobo, and we're talking about thin provisioning in a storage array. With a traditional RAID array that does not have thin provisioning technology, it's a more rigid configuration. So for this example, we have an array that has four terabytes of usable capacity. And the next step after you have, after you've configured your disk pools and you set up your RAID groups is you then have to create volumes and allocate them to servers. So in this example, we're going to create three volumes. We're going to create a two one terabyte volumes here and one two terabyte volume. Now that utilizes all four terabytes of capacity. So now all your available capacity is allocated to these volumes, which is, which is allocated to servers. Let's say you made the wrong decision and, and this volume here needs a little more capacity and, and this two terabyte volume, there's, there's some free capacity that's not being utilized uh, by that server. If you want to make those changes after the fact in a traditional RAID array, you essentially have to break all this down and start over again. So it's very complex. You got to make sure you make your, the right decisions up front. With a Drobo, it's all very automated and you don't have to worry about some of these decisions. When you, after you put your drives in a Drobo, Drobo automatically sets up your, your, uh, your protection level and, and, and configures everything for you. So there's, that's fully automated. And when you create a volume, the Drobo volumes are thinly provisioned. And what that means is when you create a volume, let's say I create a one terabyte volume and I create a, a two terabyte volume and even a big, let's say 16 terabyte volume. The storage capacity in this Drobo is not allocated to that volume until that volume needs to utilize it. So these volumes are very efficient. Free space is never, um, is never contained within a specific volume. And even as the volume utilizes the capacity and then doesn't need it anymore, let's say files are deleted uh, on a certain volume, that free space gets reallocated to the common pool that other volumes can use. And even if you need to create another volume in a Drobo, you can pay as you grow by adding more capacity in your Drobo by adding more drives, and then it's available for additional volumes. So it's just that easy in a Drobo.